inside forward 50. Here they come. Oh. That's Tui. A stretch and catch for a kick after the siren. It was actually really fun. It's kind of, maybe it's, um, I don't know if it's, it sounds arrogant, but it's kind of nice to have like, everyone looking at you in that position. And um, Ironically, I'd rather have that shot than tee off in front of five strangers. That's, that's real pressure. There was a second or two after I kicked it where I thought, oh, if that drifts the other way, I could be in trouble. But it was amazing. I like it's very, very hard to describe. It was it was like being a kid again, because there was no like um, there was no coolness in and celebration. There was no high fives. It was literally just a bunch of grown men screaming at each other and hugging each other. It was pretty cool. Yeah, it's funny. Um, it's still like home is still Ireland and still Port Leash. But uh, like I could end up and probably will end up staying here for good. Um, but I was pretty lucky because to, to play a professional sport, you, you virtually had. If it was ball sport back home, you pretty much just had soccer. Yeah. Um, and then obviously rugby, if that was the path you were going down. But um, yeah, if you were into a ball sport, that was kind of your only chance. And when that didn't pan out, I obviously picked Gaelic football as the sport I would pursue as much as I could. And if I hadn't done that, if I'd picked something else, I, I wouldn't be here because the AFL only tend to draft players from Gaelic football as opposed to any other Irish sport. The thing is, you can't really criticise the AFL. Um, they're not certainly not doing anything illegal. Um, you might not like it, but the, the alternative is that these Irish guys don't even have the opportunity to come out here. The people who want the Irish guys to stay, they want them to stay because they want their club or county to be stronger. Mm -hmm. Now that's fine, you can want that, but you shouldn't be trying to legislate to stop some young guy having the option, having him have the option himself. And that doesn't sit right with me because they're trying to take decisions away from the younger guys. Like it's one thing to stay there and play for your club and have all that pride, but you're giving up the potential to set your whole life up, play in front of huge crowds every week um, and set you and your family up for the rest of your life. Now, if you want to make that decision, that's fine, but that's not a decision that gets to be made by some guy who played 10 years ago. I can 100% guarantee you I wouldn't hit the fairway. <laughs> I can absolutely guarantee it. I don't know why, I think maybe, I think I know I can play a footy pretty well. Yeah. I don't, like I know what I can do in the golf course. It can go well, but far out it can go wrong. Dennis Arnfield yeah. and um, you know Sam Doherty plays yeah. a lot as well. And we kind of we just got a crew um, who were all friends anyway, and we all seemed to just kind of catch the bug at the same time, or one of us gave it to the other, the other one, um, and it just kind of never left. So in the past, when I go through phases of playing for a few months and then kind of drop off and go back to football or whatever it was, um, it just never left this time, and I kind of haven't stopped playing or watching for the last three or four years.